Hello, space cadets. This Valentine's Day mission, Brad Shoemaker reporting for duty. Yes, Mass Effect Andromeda is for lovers. <laughs> Alex Navarro. It's me, your weed-loving pathfinder. I am ready to get high and commit some more crimes. A low rider is uh, mm -hmm. is is here to to get mm -hmm. out there, find some paths. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, last time uh, we were here, we were uh, Andromeda ring into a brand new galaxy. Things were great. You went down to meet your new neighbors and shot them. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, kicked off what we assume will be an aggressive 20 to 30 hour experience. Maybe more. You came back to your colony ship because, uh, everybody was on, everybody's on like a giant spring break from actual mass effect. So like Solarians, Aturians, everybody's out there like 600 years later in another galaxy. But you found out you're the only car that made it to, to Tahoe. <laughs> You're the only yeah. guy car that made it to eh, people. People go to spring break in Tahoe. Let's say uh, uh, Myrtle Beach. Uh, yeah, so it seems like the, the Quarians maybe ended up in Redding instead somehow. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. And the Turians really they forgot to put chains on their tires, so they're having a little, little problem. They're, they're, it's a bit of an issue. So I think that's kind of where we left off with a uh, uh, rider. Um, mm -hmm. her, her, her brother's still in some kind of induced coma. He's in his tube for narrative reasons um well, let's let's see what happens here as we kind of i suspect this will be a bit of um an info dump in the early yeah. sessions here as we have just gotten to what is effectively the game's version of the citadel i imagine mm -hmm. we will be talking to a lot of people today uh man what a what a weird open yeah i think some, uh, some creative choices were made i don't want to make any promises but i think you're getting a ship today <gasps> oh my god it's totally not the normandy i swear it is definitely not the normandy it's the norman three um oh this any, guy any chance any chance you could pop that window on the parsec side for me what are you seeing now i see i see v mix i see the, the full okay. layout okay all right on. i talked to addison already right uh, yes, I believe yes, we so. Went, yeah, we, right. we, we, did, we did our due diligence on the face's tired line. Okay. And and her face did not look tired, so... They How have, is that, they Brad? Did, oh, that looks good, thank you. Okay. They did the work. What do we got down here? Ooh, information wall. Hello, I'm Jan Garson, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I remember this. It's through your she just looks so resolute. Nexus has come to life. <laughs> If you're seeing this, everything has gone to shit. Founder, please select a topic. Hmm. You are Sarah Ryder. Salary code 19. Oh, I'm hearing it twice. Pathfinder. Your okay. supervisor is Salary Director code nineteen B. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Oh, good. Seriously. Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please Even see Director in the future. Foster Addison. Mm -hmm. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Okay. What's my viability status? <laughs> Travel all the way to another galaxy to get away from shitty management, but the shitty management came along for the ride. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels Everything are is fucked, actually, this. now that you mention it. <laughs> Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and Good resources we nickname. need to start our new lives mm -hmm. in Andromeda. Yeah, I never would have thought of that myself. 
All right, let's see here. There's a map. Let's Whoa. see where I need to go here. Did you note in that right, spiel that they they said political stability is one of the considerations about uh, the suitability of habitable worlds? Mm-hmm. Does that seem a little strange to you, considering you're like a pathfinder and you're supposed to be exploring uncharted worlds? Why would there be a political you know, you situation make a point on there. worlds that aren't settled yet? Just keep that in mind. That's mm. all I'm saying. That is a salient point. Ooh, guns. Now you gotta look up, like, plant politics. Alright, I've got no money for this yet, but... Interesting. Okay, so here's where I will buy my guns eventually, when I need to buy guns. I feel like we need... Weapons and stuff. They got you covered. Use the console to take a look at what <laughs> weapons and this stuff. Guy, this guy does not look like he has had a good time. Ouch. Why am I paying for these? You know, that is the question every video game what yeah. should be mm -hmm. asking. I'm doing Chef, everybody's said, work. We were all thinking. Rest, so. I'm doing all the work for everybody in this game. Why can't you just give me the things I need? I think Mass Effect 1... Is that guy in prison? Mass Effect 1... I don't know. Tried to split the difference there with um, the spect was it specters? Is that what they were called? The, yeah, specters. You got your specter store. Remember, you had your like, oh, this is like the special stock that you guys can get. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Oh, there was a mutiny aboard the Nexus. I think they mentioned one of the guys mentioned that when you when you first got in there. Yeah, that's right. There were some people that like are are now uh, yeah outsiders or banished. Something. Yeah, the banished exiles. The that's what they're called. Interesting. Uh, Brad, did yeah, they I'm ever, not saying. Uh, go ahead. Did they explain like did the Nexus warp in here, or did they build it here? Um, they probably touch on that, or it might be in the Codex or something. I. I I think it maybe is just its own kind of ship that flew in, like, prefab. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, might, it, might, it felt to me very much like uh, we flew this thing in first to get everything yeah. ready. I think that's right. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Look at this guy. Thanks, Mr. Professor Hewitt. <laughs> Look at that Torian behind him. I love it. <laughs> little cosmonaut Torian. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to stand like the other guy, like as a joke. <laughs> He looks like he is in Witcher cosplay, like one of those like townspeople from The Witcher with those I'm usually out little in the field, hats. But I wouldn't mind talking shop or lab, you know. You are always welcome. <laughs> Not that we've had much to study with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage what? it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? What? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, buddy! <laughs> Places, Maybe everyone. We've Maybe, had not. Some <laughs> Maybe not everything's fixed. Us? Perhaps. <laughs> I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time. Anomalously. The <laughs> can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Your work is important. Don't lose sight of that. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. <laughs> Chief! Chief! Do that thing you just did again! <laughs> Hi, Pathfinder. Wanna hit some rocks for science? Oh, he's been hitting some rocks, alright. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What do you need? See how fast he was running? He's made a VI for geophysic surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Cool. Sounds like illegal. Some kind of grift. What? Your console is bad. Okay. I have to scan minerals now. Got it. I can do that. Is there anything else to say to this guy? Pathfinder. Those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative <laughs> conservation effort? You know, the CCE. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. 
If you and then we're gonna try to make them kiss. Samples to the catalog, <laughs> I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Boy, everybody's trying to get a little kickback here. Yeah. Alright, right now I'm just gonna try and talk to everyone I can talk to. Hmm. Let's take a look at the map. Ooh, something got funky here when I, I got see. into this menu. Some, what some in the world? Did not, some did not like it. Did your focus switch out of the window? All I did was hit start. Mm. I Both I my screens are flickering now. Okay, uh, now it's back. This game was maybe not entirely fixed. Okay. Well, it seems fine now. That was weird, though. That is what I've read. Like, they did patch it a number of times after it came out. Mm -hmm. But, like, I mean, this game was enough of a flop that they kind of abandoned it pretty quickly. So I think there are pretty mm. outstanding bugs still in here. Yeah, that was a weird one. They also canceled all DLC plans for this thing. You'd be surprised. Look, man, this version was eight dollars. That's my justification. <laughs> Nobody's making Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it? A... Let's call it strained. I can believe it. Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Cat are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. Oh no. Exiles don't go away mad. Mm hmm. Just go away. There's apparently no viable planets in range. Is Liam a main Exile character? May have been a yes, he's a party death member. Sentence. What a like, shit I feel like. Show. I feel like his model like should be better than the, like, the general public, you know? Don't survive. Uh -huh. Yeah. No pressure, yeah. right? Maybe, maybe a little more animation and attention in the eyes, for example, for a party <laughs> member character. Yeah, you know, like, I, 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 I get why they prioritize party member characters and then not other characters, but it. Liam here looks like, from general casting, from the, from the general, uh, yeah. From, yes. I, I mean, you know, like, the, there's tons of information out there at this point about what went wrong in this game's development. Like, they basically made most of the game in the final 18 months. Oh, jeez. Reportedly. Like, it's kind of understandable in some ways why it turned it's out the way it did. Right. Like, you know, it's not fair. The game is the game. What's wrong? Did they have to scrap a oh, lot? My. Is that what happened? You're... Yeah, I mean, the story, so the general true. story the was that they wanted to make some No Man's Sky esque, like, death. infinite universe, like, uh, generated planets You're kind of thing, and spent a ton of time trying to make that work. And then so it just didn't. I re realized that it wasn't working, and then they had to just scramble to make a game quickly. That's the basic gist of it. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. That's not so bad. was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses. Just I mean, they'll probably get a plaque or something. Yeah, I just own it, man. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd There's be happy a too. really twitchy oh, security you. guy in the background I'm sure there. The mm -hmm. will allow you a visit. Please tell Milken <laughs> I love him. Tell Milken I love him. Got it. Well, I mean, this this literally talks about what you were talking about, Brad. With morale this low, we just need to scale down expectations. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Just ship it. Ship the Nexus. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrus for authorization to participate. Okay. Oh, that's you. That's the console for a strike team. I know, I touched it. What are they? <laughs> Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Uh... I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. They're Good legends. Thanks. Do I have an available strike team missions? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to remember what these are. Is this like Assassin's Creed, go get resources yes. kind of thing? Oh, yes. You could, it looks like, I, did, I, wow, I had forgotten about this aspect. It looks like you could do it yourself in multiplayer. Hmm. Or or do it 
Yes, or do it like timed, like timer style kind of. Yeah. Um, Is this from that age I, of second screen glass? Like a no, this is a little late for that. That was more okay. kind of Xbox One launch, twenty thirteen ish. Although, if you wanted to argue that there are aspects of this game that were significantly behind the times, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you could make that argument. Loot boxes. Um. I don't know if the multiplayer is even functional anymore. And you might still, if it's peer-to-peer, then you probably can still play it technically. I'm not sure. 70% chance of success. 1.48 hours. Should buy some that. time multipliers. Oh, I had I forgot about this or more likely just never engaged with it in the first place. Chad is saying that might be connected to a phone app. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Oh, I mean, God. I mean, you know, there, three had the same thing with the war score stuff, so. Sajanaka was my name. Help you. Pathfinder Rider. <laughs> Line read. Uh, a murderer. <laughs> did it cut Black off the can the I, or did it just it's say help you? <laughs> Milken, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. A Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's <laughs> first murderer. Didn't one of the other Mass Effects have this exact same side story, side mission plot on the net, on the Your Citadel? All like up murder mystery. This. She says you did. It was definitely it a murder mystery. I don't remember if it was exactly this, but okay. A wonderful person. The village there are a couple. It's too late. They found me guilty. Actually, this is not even the only murder mystery in this game. part of the futile <laughs> effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs. Overrun by hostiles. Differences. At least oh, you can resolve dead. this one. The other one was, I think, going to be addressed in DLC that never got friends. <laughs> oh no! We refused to call for evacuation. Oh. This is a weird people. product. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it. For a good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. We saw movement. Thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry. That's Probably awful. not a good thing for we your chest close. to do. No, you want to son. keep that intact if at all possible. I admire that about him. Ow. But I was enraged when we argued. There was a recording. It's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. The evidence. Don't throw on the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe Maybe I like yeah, I'll, watch, I'll, I'll watch the snuff film. That would be great. <laughs> Gross. You're a pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. All right, where's uh, Kandros? When I went to a, a mall when we were looking there's for a couch, Kandros. the mall had a map like this. It was like on the kiosk. It was like a digital map that like turn. You touch it and it turns 3D. And of course, it was like top, topographical. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And like, uh, um, of course, though, one out of six panels worked. The rest were like crashed. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so nothing wrong with more than okay. that. Look. I think I love more than embedded systems out in the world where they crash and you see the underpinnings. Like the flight board at the airport crashed to a Windows blue screen or whatever. Can't argue with results. What's your ATM? Anyway, your ATM rebooting OS2 warp. Excuse the mess. (laughs) This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and it does look like his tongue is just kind of going up (laughs) and down. Yeah. Scattered readings. Some indicate that look, man, they did what they could. Others, I know. Wow, you wow, you really can just. (laughs) Who knows. Nothing going in there, huh? Look at those <laughs> teeth. I don't think I've ever seen Turian teeth before. Too close. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. My wife put her um, debit card in the ATM the other day, was killed by and one of her own. it just took it and then said, you're going to have to call somebody. But this acted as a spark. Like, uh, this is uh, nothing we can do about this. Can't give it back to you. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. <laughs> of course it isn't. But that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. 
A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. Cool. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Let's ask some questions. Why is she, what, like, Pathfinder has, like, a very specific role, right? Not like, yeah. Not like Spectre, where what you're brought you out here to like You're not specifically a space cop. Of being the hey. good one. The good one? <laughs> the air the quote with three fingers is character. pretty good. There were expectations, you know? Look, then Turian quotes use three lines, all right? Pilot on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from yeah, there. Yeah, put the guy who just but decided to shoot a bunch of people on, in charge. Seems right. Rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc. Service guarantees citizenship. <laughs> what do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. They got weird we bone faces, man. We've worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Of course they don't why? talk to what you, they man. Want? They're from another no galaxy. But I've seen their weaponry. No one knows what their language prisoners. is. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. But they only take on average three and a half hours to complete a mission. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. No, you're just gonna stay here. I think. All right, where's that console he was talking about? Somewhere up Warm. here. Did you hit that? You hit that data pad already, right? Yeah, I did. I think it's over here. Point? Yeah, there it is. There it, oh, yes. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! <laughs> even if I have to... <laughs> no! Get him off me! Get him off me! <laughs> it's got a real... 1930s radio play. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody with like a big, like a uh, big sheet of metal. Like, <laughs> and the lightning was terrible that night. Milken! Hiram! There is. Okay, she's probably over here, I'm guessing. No, that's. So where is that other person? Who is it you're looking for? Else? There's a person oh. I'm supposed to talk to. Another right, floor, what's maybe? The name? Oh, yeah, it's another floor. Here we go. Shaw, there we go. One floor up. Yeah, that's back where you started. Okay. I can do that. Uh, if you hold the uh, uh, start button, it looks like you can track it. Hey, you got a little thing on your, uh, your uh, compass. Doop -a -doop -doop. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to you yes, while I'm here. I know the Hyperion docking unannounced cost them switches. I want to talk to the Krogan. <laughs> there you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. I don't know if it's right. just me, but this is the fanciest Krogan I feel like I have met so far. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's a very haughty quality to this Krogan. Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Mm, yes. Eight? Well, the, don't forget, the I think the first three Mass Effect games were left. all about, He'll have you know, I can basically you the Krogan genophage and, uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. This is still going for you, Alex? Am I back? You're here. Hi. 
Uh, yeah, place, sorry. Man. It looked like my connection died for a second. Got a little cash. Yeah, the first three games were just like the the female Krogans were in one or two scenes, if not not existent. There we go. Yeah, sorry. I've got to reset my uh, a couple of things here. I think so only there's in- a fun thing that there's a fun thing that happens where uh, whenever I go into or I touch another thing, it goes into windowed mode, mm-hmm. and I have to go in and fix that manually. Mm. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown. I'll fix it once this conversation is over. Looks like I can't do it here. here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal. Sorry, what were you guys saying before I got really disconnected? Uh, I was just saying, like, female Krogans were not uh, a big... We're done. They were a big plot point, but you didn't meet too many of them in the first three games. There was the one who was on your ship, remember? I think in three, the one that you... Is, like, the first... Krogan yeah. that can bear a child. But even then, fear. like her vibe was very like oh, yeah, she was fuck tough all these nails, people. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, she was tough <laughs> as nails. Like this 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 lady seems like she's just very well to do. Mm-hmm. This is your cheese and wine, Krogan. Why do you call I mean, she's a middle manager? <laughs> because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. I will say, I think the Krogan what sort of party member in this game is Nexus? probably one of the high Situation's points gone to okay. pretty much sums it up. If I, I have to think about that a little harder, but and take over, then more I think he's definitely one of the plan, so more entertaining left. party members and from what I remember. Off, the founder of mm-hmm. the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. What happened to Gian Garson? She was killed. killed in the scourge disaster. I just said that. <laughs> a bunch of the other leaders. Humans, I know. know Short lives, but come on. I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Mm, I wonder if I'll have to collect some materials. (laughs) When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with a genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. Yeah, let's just forget about the war crimes of old and start the new ones. That was the maybe the shittiest, like, what about the summary of that whole thing that took three <laughs> games to figure out. Yeah. I think your audio is getting chewed up in a bad way yeah. here, Alex. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapy with to enhance his mutation while they were in stasis. Might be worth stopping what you're sending to Vinny and restarting it. Just hit stop and start again. There it is. All right, hang on. No, it's good. It's good now. Yeah, I think think it's fine. Our scientists say we've improved viability to... Yeah, they they left the Milky Way before any of that stuff got resolved with the genophage, right? Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. So they don't even know that it got cured 600 years ago. (laughs) The first Krogan I've ever seen to be like, oh, you know, maybe it was justified. We kind kind of of maybe deserved it. It's hard to tell. Go play the first three games to kind of go through that kind of gray area. Yeah, we'll also note that they basically hand-waved the whole thing away in one line of dialogue just now. She was like, oh, we're developing natural mutations to resist against it anyway. It's fine. Nothing more for now. Yeah, it's a weird framing of just that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you can kind of write your way out of any story problem if you don't care how forced it seems. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta fix this. That should fix it? Okay. Should look normal now. It's looking alright for us. My crew's working on <laughs> I'm not listening to you anymore, Krogan. Yeah, no, we had our conversation. I'm good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously, this is a no drama. drama Krogan. <laughs> That's an entire sector showing green. Good job. Engineering a 
There we go. There's the person I actually wanted to talk to. Cassidy, what up? Cassidy Shaw? I'm Sarah Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on Stop his saying face that. Was <laughs> it's a shock. I think we found the only character more stoned than me. I was gonna say that whoever's the like hairstylist the on this Nexus mm -hmm. is amazing. Said so, but like there, yes. there are some good dudes Still, on the here. Storm was severe. Visibility wasn't great, great hairstylist, great weed guy. That's what they've got out here. <laughs> yeah. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. I'm just gonna hold this up in front of you. <laughs> Do you like this? You can, it's new. Yeah. It's heavy. It's very heavy. To kill him. Why was Reynolds She's like looking at it. <laughs> she presses right. buttons on it. But you don't expect. It's like me on an shoot iPad shoot. after I've had a couple of bong rips. Is all I'm saying. Part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Oh, he's saying he died of a broken <laughs> that is, heart. That is definitely some. That's one way to put it. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. Look at this. Officer. Slowly mm -hmm. descend. Okay, now follow <laughs> it all the way down. <laughs> down, the up. Press, press some more buttons, yes. <laughs> like an eye test. I appreciate the information. Of course. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Haven't you people ever seen Murder, she Can't wrote? wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, you have to split, just like his chest, hang on, split, hang split on, in half. Hang on, wait, go back, go back. We need, to, we need to see what her idol looks like. She's still... <laughs> same thing? Same thing. Okay. The idol never stopped, same. even while we were same. talking. Same slow, just slow descend. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Ten! Fast run. <laughs> oh, her, wait. Her legs kind of kinda oh, have like a. Um, Never mind. Her run's got like a. Her legs are moving more than her body or something. It's like yeah, like a little like dreams esque. This is the where we landed. Habitat Seven. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. This sucks. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Is that uh, that's Kamel? That's that, that's Kamel Nanjiani, that's right? Yeah. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Hang on, I need to look at a voice cast for this game. Her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided. I think I'm going else? to prove we'll pay this writer as that the end? reluctant the stoner. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Our it's the only version of this character that makes any sense to me. A person who is very clearly not ready for this job that is just like. It Fuck, man. All right. Way. Yet it rendered all the golden worlds uh, let's see. And Natalie Dormer the is in this. The cat. They're obsessed with alien structures um, scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything I think to she's the only other name I recognize. It seems mm. murder isn't Well, Clancy Brown was in that beginning. And now the challenge oh, right. is to uh, the world in spite of all that. That was definitely this him, right? Here. I don't see him on the Yeah, it was. Eos. Okay. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources Sounds we can easy. gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving I'm not a good it. Pathfinder. Right. I'm not. <laughs> I think I should go check Look. You're the path and pathfinder fail, we've got. It's no okay. sweat off your uh, eye. You'll just look for another pathfinder. Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others. Hmm. Don't play games with me. Yeah, I see it. You need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. 
But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. So we're all frauds. Where's my ship? <laughs> They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. There's something about that line read of just like that moment, indignant. Where's my ship? <laughs> I was wondering about that. <laughs> Ow, my brain. <laughs> oh, no, it's caught up something with me. Something wrong. <laughs> Blinder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss the confidential <laughs> matter. Just have a little nosebleed. No. Yeah, don't mind me. The computer in my brain is talking to me. Also, we need to talk about this other guy. Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Is that... Any idea where they went? Nothing certain. But tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Yeah, no, it's about this whole murder <laughs> thing. I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can- The body can the reveal much. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. let's keep quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. Deal with we'll it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Oh, so many things to ask. Mm -hmm. Boy. Sounds like the Nexus has had Listen, a rough time of it. Remember, Salarians have Publicly, a short life cycle, okay? I would say we're more uh -huh. than up for Let's the move challenge. this one along. <clears throat> Privately, I can tell Just bear you, in mind, I promised in the tweet that you would get your ship today, so... <laughs> okay. Many of them After this, I will go and I will get my ship. Even After I talk to the AI. Of Gian Garson is dead. But I have to go through all these questions. You, you know how this goes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. what you guys have well. got some time. When the Nexus hit the Scourge... I'm pretty sure they give it to you pretty quickly after this initial battery <laughs> of <laughs> interrogations These people of stuff. 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never I think if I made a game like this... Mm -hmm. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. I How might have some out? shortcut that Criminal elements took advantage of marks the all of these threads as listened fears. to, even if you just and didn't listen to them. Followed. You know, it's like, pretend mm -hmm. you listened to all of them. To the mark them all as gray. With them. They crushed the mutiny pretend you cared about this stuff. <laughs> That's right. Exiles. I want the we game to them. think I listened to them I all. we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloan Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Sloan Kelly. <laughs> Wait, didn't they all used to be one of yours? Sloan Kelly? Yeah, she was kinda. Head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. All right. Whoa, the Krogan look, demanded dude. a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. This sucks. And lifting you know, at least objects. the other Solarian knew some they show tunes. They, wanted, <laughs> they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Mm. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Then why did you invite <laughs> any Krogan along with you? Like, I don't render... <sighs> we'll all right. be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? I've met the Krogan that you have in it charge. She seems nice. The greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune... How's that working out? a new beginning. Mm -hmm. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus... Will I'd love to know what their metric for bravery all. was. Because some of these people seem know about pretty the early cowardly. Days of the initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth, wealthy, young for a human. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered 
And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Hmm. Are we doing an Elon Musk Mars thing mm. here? This might be like pre, right? This is like a little too early for that to the rubber there to hit the road on that one. Mm. one for every colonist no. no, no, I, I think he was talking about that stuff out there that far back. Happiness, hmm. finding the thing he was definitely in the them, news prior the to this. To I don't know if he was talking about the Mars stuff. Yeah, was that specific super loop? We can facilitate the search. Hyperloop, please. Hyperloop, sorry. This might have been Looks more like, like Carmack and Bezos here. at this point. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many 2017 wasn't blocks. that long ago, the even though it feels that like it. Station will That's one true. Day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking. God, this, this game's almost five years old. What the hell? As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed. All right, that. we get it. You're space racist. Fine. <laughs> As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? <laughs> I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, yeah, you larger suck. than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then oh, all beam counter, great. Me died. I was next in line for the role. <laughs> so, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring How long ago space. was that, 20 minutes ago? Life had its detours, <laughs> and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Now, don't apologize. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. Renegade punched this guy. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. Is there that much of that the here? Part. The Asari, Turi, the Renegade oh, paragon don't, stuff? Arcs are I don't remember how account. they handle it in this. If they had the same problem which might be telling. That we did, I fear the worst. I want to say it's somewhat clues, different than it was in the trilogy. I can't without say the other that. Arcs, okay. The promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Uh, what do I need well, to consider? In I want a Hanar buddy. Viable? Assuming the planet is that them just life, explaining away the, the species that are not coming People along like for this ride? Their heads. Oh, yes, want extremely to okay. Any hostile threats, whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios. Yes, there is being murdered on site can be certainly justification for why half of the alien races from the first game are just not in this. And gotcha. don't forget forward stations, you'll want those. What Boy, can you tell me about got a lot to say, huh? I was, I mean, he is kind of a main guy, so I get it. The engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, right? Oh, thank God we're done. <laughs> That's all. Thanks for your time. I mean, all the colonization efforts have failed, except for all of those exiles that have gone and settled on all the planets. <laughs> Our futures <laughs> depend on each other's success. Bye. <laughs> 50 XP for all of that. Should have gotten more. Yeah. All right, let's look at the map here. I assume that is me talking to the AI guy. Oh, I've got skills. Oh, all right. Wait, did they ever formally, like, say, <laughs> hey, these characters are part of your squad? Nope. Or do they just show up here? <laughs> They just kind of showed up, as far as I know. Oh, okay. 
Now what should I dump my points into? Always warp. Is there a warp in this? There's got to be a warp uh, equivalent. Let's see, warp. Is warp just that like biotic explosion? It's like that ball. Yeah. Bro, 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 first off, at first I thought you were talking about the Vanguard charge, but that's it right there, right? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Uh, barrier. I'm going to hold These... off on the biotics, I think, for now, until yeah. I have a little more of a sense of what I want to do. Actually, before you... Nobody points at anything. I'd swear there's a way to see, like what all these choices add up to. Like there's mm -hmm. this like dynamic class system based on what you put points into. You mean this part? Uh, well, this is for the specific skill. What I mean is like, you know, you're not bound to just a biotic class or just an engineer class or whatever here. You can pick and choose whatever you want, but I think it's, it's like, you know, if you have X number of points in tech and Y number of points in biotics, then you're this, you know, mm -hmm. Hmm. or, or if you have this other arrangement of skills, you're this other class. You know what I mean? Maybe they haven't yeah, introduced sure. that yet. It might just be that it hasn't come up yet. That, that might be the case, but uh, ultimately, if I remember, you're going to want to like spec toward one of those uh, kind of dynamic classes to get the extra bonuses. You think I should hold on to these points for now? I would until you're actually in combat, because maybe they'll spell that stuff out by then. Okay, that's fine. I'm not in any hurry. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Silver Streak in our chat says uh, you haven't unlocked that module system yet. Okay. Okay. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Is it paranoia? <laughs> or is everyone out to get you? You know what they say. It's not paranoia. It's weed. If someone is out to get you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. Is that That's a real good. goatee? Is Sorry. my biggest question. Statement. Or did you just yeah. kind of like... It does look a little drawn on. <laughs> now I have more to bear. So it's just them um, charcoal or something. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Yeah, it kind of has the look of Sounds when like Hulk Hogan decided to start <laughs> dyeing his beard black. Yeah, hmm. I guess. Wait. To that's signify it. that he was evil. You can't possibly be involved in this. <laughs> you weren't even here during the mutiny, would you? If if you had. You're died, saying there's a another one of these guys who's me. a good guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no, business. listen to him. He's from a mirror dimension. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that yeah, really yeah, help. Yeah. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Y'all like scanning panels? No, Do. No, no, I'm fine. And I don't, I don't it's just like I'm scanning those little robots at the real Citadel. Be careful. Who is the person who has to buff all these floors all day? Look how shiny I know. these it's things are. It's so shiny. Do you think they have like a like a elaborate Roomba system or something? I hope so. Some space age polymer that doesn't get scuffed up. I kind of like guy the look to talk to in this game. Like for the most part, I kind of like the art design in this game. It's very plastic. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Really All right, it's down here somewhere. I think it's down another one. Yeah, was it through that big like double door down on on the low level? I think. I think you might be right. Right under here. Yes. 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 I think when it's we're got exploring the, the space. When it's got the arrow on your your HUD there underneath That's, it. Yeah, down or up. Yeah, you got it. Cora. Oh, party member Cora. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison, first Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. Hmm. Which one was Addison? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was Addison again? All politicians look the same to me. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm -hmm. Same here. Next time we'll ask for a seating chart. She gonna shoot you in the back of the head to become a pathfinder? Is she not mad about that whole thing? And crew. She does seem a little cross. Taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Yeah, see if he's still in that tube or not. Yeah. Boy, your own personal transit system, huh? Your own personal <laughs> transit. What's up, bud? <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just, you know, he was so always on guard, always on guard. What have we got going on here? Bad, no expense. Mm hmm. Yeah, this does have the feel of the Jurassic Park compound before the park would be up and running. <laughs> Hopefully, fewer dinosaurs. Whoa. Uh, what's going on no in expense. there? This is the captain. It's a fun holiday. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Sam Nude. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. Are you like a doctor tank? Before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You're talking to a you Winamp visualizer. Expedition. <laughs> it seemed best we speak alone. Ah, oh, that would be cool if they had written the visualizer <laughs> against the, the, the voiceover audio. I don't over. understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Okay. <laughs> Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. Is that good? And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your. I can also turn all your shit off if you rub me the wrong way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can make you shit your pants right now if we wanted. Aha! Your father preferred to profiles, you say? Himself. Hmm. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious. Like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient, far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. Okay, did you ever see the <laughs> Iron Man movies? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. We we, we, we made a Jarvis, is what you're saying. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's pretty amazing. Whoa. Not many people would accept. Your father knew some would fear it. Yeah. He's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. What is love? How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. Also, there was about an hour <sighs> every night where he again. turned me off. But he said that was <laughs> Alex's time. <laughs> 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 Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Ooh. Thanks. Oh, we're going to get there. Oh, oh, here we go. This oh, is the stuff I was talking about. I see. Um. Oh, look at this. Nervous system. Your other nervous system. Muscle and nervous system. Evil. Dark okay, so these initial system. these initial requirements are not that stringent, uh, but you can't see what the bonuses are you're going to get are here, so you can mm, kind yeah. of decide what you want to build toward. Can you change what you guys you want? think? I think you can respec kind of whenever, if I remember. Okay. I think. As, long as, you, as long as you have the I unlocks. You yeah, everything else right now is locked. Yeah, I think I think so. There's the the unlocks here is basically I need to have six, six skill points invested in tech for this one, six in can, biotics for this one. So I can decide I, what I want to unlock. Yeah. Also, I forgot that they added a seventh class in this, which is Explorer, which is just like ah, you're putting points in everything. Here's some generic yeah. bonuses that you'll can get. You, that if, sounds like where I'm going to end up. But can scroll you scroll down with the here. right? Yeah, with the right stick. Yeah. See see what some of the other bonuses are. This is just okay. Oh, you get blink out of Explorer. Mm-hmm. 
That sounds pretty good. I think that's probably what I mostly ran when I played through this. That feels like where I'm going to end up because my natural tendency is to just like dump some points into a little of everything. All right. That's good to know. This is all good to know. But you know what we got to do? Get your ship. Get my right. ship. Get your ship together. Get off the Lexus Nexus. Or Actually, go I kind of wanted to go to my... I'm going to go to my quarters, then I'm going to get my ship. Or my dad's quarters, then get my ship. Oh, okay. Go through his, like, porn collection. Yeah, I want to see what, uh, what magazines he's been hoarding. <laughs> oh, dad. So this is why mom divorced you. <laughs> if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. Burn it all. Burn it all. Throw it out in airlock. Okay. Okay, so it actually seems like I need to go down and to the right, and I missed something over here. Hmm. So nobody else on this thing has my haircut, right? No, definitely not. No. Nope. Absolutely not. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Sprinting. Look at this move. You're mm -hmm. trucking. There's something like... There's the something key. uncanny about it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a memory trigger. That's probably good. Mm-hmm. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. What's the Hyperion? Is that your ship? What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal... I think it's just the... That's the Ark. That's the Ark you flew in on, right? And the Ark you flew in on. Ooh, Liara. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure that uh, my wife could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Dusoni's <laughs> research onto data pads. It's also the Shadow Bro. Hello, Alec. Huh? Uh, here's Dr. your Tissoni. Liara checks in I'm for a brief spell me. section of Most the game. Scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm Oh, Liara, you don't even know what's in store for you. I You're going to get up to some shit. Oh, she's probably dead by now. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I don't know. They live to be like a thousand years old or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're yeah. pretty long. I think I think, I think she might still be alive at this point. I am honestly not sure how people could. I forgot. Survive. Wasn't she like two hundred in Mass Effect? And anyway, I and that was like a baby, something like that. Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. I mean, she's definitely in that new game, right? Like, wasn't she in that teaser trailer? It sure looked like it. The day is finally here. We have We're no idea when that thing, we'll what the hell that thing is, right? First, I don't think that's a game yet. Long, <laughs> well, I mean, they, you know, there's whatever's in that, whatever you can mine out of that trailer. All the hopes and dreams but and it's pretty here. vague. It's pretty nondescript. I have my own. Yeah. I wasn't the uh, husband or father. I the weirdest thing about that teaser footage is that I'm pretty sure there are no some elements from this game in it. <laughs> Which is the last thing I expected Don't to see in scouting, promotional material for a new Mass Effect. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but he's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids. If anything happens to oh, here we you, go. <laughs> things you're going to find out. Hard drives, I, I need you to it. erase. <laughs> <laughs> Photos that, uh... That uh... Not accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. 
Yeah, the recipes. Okay, so I can't do any of these encrypted ones yet. These these are this is like these are story morsels they will dole out over the course of the game. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, mm. and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago. Well, not completely. Extinct. Also, the also they were huge the dicks. The year yeah. 2182. Real judgy. Their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. I will say it's nice to hear her voice, nonetheless. Build yourself a when weird a dead race, water table. The most obvious problem mm -hmm. is the lack of an observable population. This raises Ooh, the question, coffee machine. when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. <laughs> While it's possible that living Protheans may be mm. found in a hidden Unless you pay the ten dollar pre order bonus fee, mm -hmm. the chances are then you can meet one. Trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. Normandy! Aww. So this is just the nostalgia room. <laughs> yeah, well, you clearly. It. Oh, you got the little ship. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that's our plenty Space of action. guns. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Books. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. I'm a human being. I feel like that that line should have been funnier. Printed mm. books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Mm. After a fashion. <laughs> I do like you're wandering in circles when as you're talking. An extinct race. It is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not. Listen, my writer has a short attention span. We must <laughs> look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% oh, accuracy. Oh, honey. Oh, oh sweetheart. They're, they're laying it on you don't a little even thick know. here. Yeah. If only. They must be perfect. Yes. <laughs> Sam right. Node. The blocks your father placed on my array are I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on it, but something about Sam Node is really funny to me. Mm -hmm. Wait. I can actually see his memories? Yes. Do I want to do that? Them via your implant. Is this a privacy okay. problem? Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Oh boy. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? First person? Mm -hmm. It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. <laughs> My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. Yeah, it worked out great for the Quarians. But it's illegal. What? I didn't know you were here. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. This guy rode a free. horse here? Like, what is, <laughs> what is that our walk? Five senses. It's a reality greater than our Oh, that's Clancy Brown. But an AI yes. Man. Oh my god. By he was the our own He was the shithead and screw in Shawshank Redemption. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Oh wow. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly experiencing I love Clancy together. Brown. He's a great actor. Carnival. 
There's no creator to one of the all time great character actors. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. I like that we're just doing the Federation cloaking device Alec. episode of Next Generation here, but with AI. Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. <laughs> oh All right. my god. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private and why did you say anything? Now available in your father's quarters. Oh, so I got bad news about Earth. That they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Oh boy. All right, let's go through these. Then we're gonna go get our ship. Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. I'm just going to say you're going to want to avoid sudden head movements. <laughs> Real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed yeah. the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? That's my that job. An important concept no promise. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not frying my brain, I guess? Mm. Yeah. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great Ah, you know. Edie, I think. What mm. are your capabilities? After coming off of three, you know, a bunch of games. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. And having the last one be an unshackled AI, jumping into this with an unshackled, what is essentially an unshackled AI, AI seems like. Illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad you know, around that? You think, that, you think that's bad? Just wait until they give this AI a sexy robot body, too. Oh, I can't wait. So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, I mean, if we're following the uh, the designs of, of Edie from when she got her robot body, this guy's gonna look like fucking Tom's of Finland illustration. What did I don't know what that is, but I assume it's very sexy. Symbiosis is a mutually yes. beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. What are we the doing? The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. We're talking about I the birds and the bees. I know how sex works, Sam. Father's experiences. And will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Cool. That's all for now. Of course. Thanks for the speed. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> all right, where's my ship? Maybe Core is on it already. This is me. All right. Oh gosh, I forgot that the Nexus levels up. <laughs> like it opens up. I assume up everything it? does, right? Yeah, it's, it's in the upper right there. Like it, the Nexus straight up has an experience level. Oh, that is weird. What's AVP? Uh, something, something points. Whoever wins, we lose. Where do I go to get my ship? Oh wait, no. This is my dad's room again. You can you highlight another quest? The quest you're on now is like a, I believe, a like over the course of the entire game kind of quest. Yeah. Well, I was looking at it. It looked like there was only two I could look at. This and this. Try missing arcs. Let's see where that. Uh... 
Maybe that'll get us out of this area. Maybe you have to do this before the ships? I don't know. I mean, it could also be I just need to get back on the tram and go back to the other place. Hmm. It's in the other... It's on the Nexus. Where do I go to do that? Tram station. There we go. I want to go to that. Well, I... It's good. I'm already getting lost here. That's great. Never got lost in the Citadel. Wah. Listen, Wah. I did my best. I had those little taxis. It was really easy. This is just the other side of where I just came from, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Look at that. Oh, look. There's oh. a big glowing thing that I, that I clicked. Soldier. <laughs> wait, can you, can you do anything with that? Yeah, what's up with your space no, beacon? That, I, I put that there. Oh, oh, that's the waypoint. Right. Oh, oh my knees. Oh, yeah, my God. On. Oh, my God. I've been standing here for 600 years. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's got to be hell on the joints. Oh, boy. Oddly enough, you're the first person to ever take this tram. And three times in one mm. day. Docking bay sounds like a... Oh, cryo bay. How about docking bay? Isn't that where your ship would be? Cry yeah, docking bay. Let's go there. I'll go to the cryo bay later. I mean, my brother's still just in a tube, I'm sure. Just turn it, turn it off. Ready to uh, see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> We used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Ooh, yeah, give me the ship. Give me the ship. Mass Effect 2 had a great Normandy reveal. Let's see how this yes, goes. Yes, it did. They uh, what if they the just did that again? <laughs> Is that inside this thing? Okay. Yo, that's just the X-Men jet. Yeah, the was it the, the Quint? The Quint the Quint jets? What do they call that thing? Wow, it seems big. Let's go take a closer look. I mean, they had to have known that was a thing, right? Like nobody just built it now. Let's pick <laughs> like, up a bit, people. Mm -hmm. This is this is late. the ship that the, the Pathfinder will have. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra next. Ma'am. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Oh, I think I remember her from ready? my playthrough. The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Hey, Ben. Mm-hmm. Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Ah, uh, finally, the political machinations really? I've come to expect from Mass Effect. Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I'm not what you'd call a I smart know. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Oh, Abraham LinkedIn says Quinjet is Marvel, X Men Jet is the Blackbird. All things considered, it was Quin Quinjet. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Oh, it's probably the it's probably Avengers then for the Quinjet. Finally, someone who cares about it's, it's okay looking ship. Talking about it. Yeah, it's cool. It's, 
it's, yeah. it's fine. It's, it's fine phallic. in a vacuum. It's yeah. fine. Like it's fine. Like on its own. The bigger problem for me is that just everything in this game is just like a stand in for everything from the other mass yeah. effect. Yeah. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Here's your proxy. Yeah, I get that. Instead of, instead of a specter, you're a pathfinder. Instead of the Normandy, here's the Tempest. It really just kind of felt like a find and replace for Mass Effect stuff in some ways. Based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. But yeah, I'm definitely doing something getting like, that vibe for sure. Yes, yes instead of doing something like truly unique. All around wrench jockey. That's what I kind of hope for their next call this the outing. Research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, just, gathering intel. Router engaged. Just kind of go a little sideways on it. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. The porno room. <laughs> when you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. I also really liked in um, in two where they were like the ship had all the extra space on it, and they were like, "Well, this isn't a this isn't a military ship. This is ready to go. we have a lot uh, more room for fancy, frivolous the stuff on it." Room. And this thing just looks bananas. From the central table, or just I guess this is also together. private industry, though, right? This mm -hmm. is their fake Elon Musk ship. No vid calls for me yet. Not yet. Got call uh, space or we call this the research room. You can Andromeda research Anderson. projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Oh, this this doesn't look done. Is this the laundry room? No. It will oh, be the that, rumpus room. Is that gonna be a crew member's room once you get that crew member? Mm-hmm. Pathfinder, check this toy. Yes, Liam. Seems like we're forever racing. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. Time to craft. Tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. Options are good. We need more of those. For everybody. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we tell make, me about this tech, still the best. Aces, check it out. Hmm. Huh. Research, development, research, <laughs> development, research, <laughs> development. Oh, what R will I choose? And D. Pace great, less filling. Wow. Mm -hmm. That R comes before D. It's true. Whoa, gun. Armor's good. What do you spend it? Just, just money? Po points. Mo like, like knowledge points. <laughs> Research data? I want, a, I want a hyper helmet. Data's not really a finite resource, you know? Like, <laughs> kinda, it, yeah. But, oh, I can't spend. I don't have enough to spend. But whatever game. Yeah, I think you get it from a lot of scanning. I mean, you basically have not even started the actual, like, gameplay part of the game yet. That's what I like to hear. Systems! Looks like a development. Oh, God. All right. Oh, is it literally research is armor and development is weapons? No. Yeah, I think no. so. Wait, no, no, no. There, you a, can, you yeah. can research weapons, there, too. Oh, that's right. There were weapons over there. I'm not quite sure. Or what the I think these are the things you have and, the blueprints for that uh, you can then develop. Okay. Yes. That okay. So it's right. okay. Researching new items versus upgrading existing ones. Deep impact. Sure. You don't want to rename it. You want to call it deep impact. That's okay. fine. Deep impact sounds good. And they'll <laughs> name the other one Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I definitely didn't get far enough in to dig into this stuff. Okay, I don't have enough to do any of that other stuff. That's fine. I'm just checking. What's, the, what's in this room? This one also looks a little messy. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. 
Do we have an engineer? I feel like these are all these are all like like the empty closed doors you had in Mass Effect where like, hmm, this seems like a place Legion would live. Dude, I will never forget the moment that I walked up to one of these closed doors on this ship and the door opened and the game failed to load in the room behind it and it was just a giant gaping hole into space. Oh, geez. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> I wish I had saved a clip of that. I hope it happens to me. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Multiple people in our chat Shit. saying they have but that same bug. Pathfinder's <laughs> guidance okay. to see us through Helios. I also I had combat this. initiate on the ship one time. A ship. <laughs> oh, like it. It You'll popped all the combat as UI the up, and my character drew their gun the out as if, as if I was entering a battle. You're on the ship. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. Truly, it's a game about choice. They gave you the choice to pirate your own ship. <laughs> so, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination Ah, here, here come the main and the characters. And the system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized. Or a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Boy, you are just a cheery <laughs> bunch, aren't you? I'm really excited about the, the majesty of what we're about to embark upon here. Good. Inspirational speech. Do it. We signed on for the big stuff when go. we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse oh, me. sorry. Sorry, let me get on the other hey, side of this, right? Me. Yep. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil but are you giving her all she's this got? This is it, Ryder. Mm -hmm. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Oh, it's time, my friend. <laughs> uh -huh. It's Arch time. Counter. Uh -huh. Arch Arch counter. Oh. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. You know it. I know it. So let's show them what we've got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. <laughs> Ident 2527. She didn't actually say it. Hmm. Don't worry, there's still time. Engage. Later, losers. I'm taking this <laughs> to Mexico. <laughs> verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. <laughs> To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Take a little stop at in. Pfeiffer first. <laughs> yeah, I was say it's right along the way, should I? I, I Do you sure if you want. I don't is there planet is. scanning? Um, That might be what that is. Yeah, give it a shot. See what happens. Wow, that is definitely Citadel-esque. as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. Okay. Is there a patch Anomaly on sensors. to put in the actual galaxy map music? Something feels off about this. Probably. Probes launched. <laughs> Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Right. Mm-hmm. Wait. What have you done? Billions and billions <laughs> of asteroids. I'm, I'm here for some aluminum. Okay, well, aluminum, please. Crack this rock. The left trigger? There you go. Oh, boy. I feel like they got rid of this. It's weird that they brought it back. People liked it, is the thing. Like, I even kind of liked it. It wasn't... I don't know if there's anything else here on this asteroid. Are you getting I, any I kind think, of feedback? I think, that, I think that progression is for the entire system, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
Let's go back to the system view. Nope, that's not what I... <laughs> okay, I see what it's oh, doing. Oh, God, yes, yes right. Yes. I forgot you have to repeat this goddamn animation every time you go from that's place great. to place. That's like an old school, like, FMV or, like, super card game. Like, you gotta... I mean, you can skip it, it looks like, but... like Yes, you having, can. Oh, having to I transition. Might, don't quote me on this. I want to say they might have patched that skip in later. I don't know. There's a reason it took me 85 hours to finish this game. <laughs> That's a lot of hours, dude. I gotta I did, tell you. I did, dude, I did everything. No, actually, I didn't do everything. There were still open world quests I left behind, but I did a lot of them. There's a fucking ton of filler in this game. <laughs> I was still in a weird... I was still in a frame of mind where it was Mass Effect, so I had to see as much of it as I possibly could. As it slowly yeah. sucked the life out of me. Okay, that's the skip. That is considerably shorter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd love to know if chat knows that, yes, chat confirms the skip was patched in. So, yes, I played okay. this game without that skip. That's rough. Jesus Christ. See, I liked this part, which is just the look at all the different planets we came up with. Look mm. at all the ways in which this is completely inhospitable to life. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they lean into it as much here, but like Mass Effect like 2 and 3 had a bunch of cool, like very cool little flavor text stories mm -hmm. written about each planet. Like, that were genuinely kind of fascinating from what I remember. Right, you got, like, a galactic hi history with all the different alien races. This is just... I mean, there's nobody... Like, we don't know anybody that lives here. Like enormous True. colonies of fungal spores, you know. <laughs> yeah. Spores, molds, fungus, all that. Mm -hmm. All right, we may not do this with every <laughs> system. I just, since I'm here, I want to at least say I, I completed this one. Yeah, I mean, the sad reality is this is a good way to get crafting materials. Yeah. At least you've got the skip. God, I can't even imagine having to watch that animation every single time. Right, go back to that planet real fast. Oh, too late. Never mind. Sorry. It said something what, about what did you want me to look at? It said something about certain geological features, and my interest was peaked. Hmm. I like planetary science. Jump. Central candidate for future endeavors. Man, that's oh, it's only 117 working. degrees Celsius, you know, no biggie. Ah, oh, black hole. Uh huh. No. Let's just uh, <laughs> let's just roll on in there. Yeah, don't skip yeah, see, this one. I see, I see this no, I post interstellar. <laughs> they they did the post interstellar gravitational lensing thing. <laughs> mm hmm. I mean, it's a good effect, you have to admit. Yeah, it's Caution. Good. Caution. No accretion disc, nice. though. You did Caution it. is you advised. Scanned. You scanned it. All right, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. All right, let's go to where we're supposed to go. I have a ship now. So maybe it's in the codex, maybe I looked this up, but do they explain how they travel so quickly without the mass, the gates, the... It was supposed to be an easy first step. Uh, I mean, they always, they always had, like, faster than light travel. It was just a lot slower than the relays. They still had it. So are they just, are they just taking the, like, side streets? Yeah, like, that's how they got here, you know, they used whatever their, whatever their kind of generic FTL tech is. Yeah, but it took 600 Not, years. Yeah, but dude, 600 years to the Andromeda Galaxy is super fast. Hmm. Hang on, I gotta it's get like, this mineral deposit, then I'll go do this thing. That, that is insanely fast. I got iron. Wait, hang on, are you in a different system? Yeah, I moved you to a different totally. system. Okay, God, it all runs together. All right, time to go to EOS. I'll let this one play out. We just flying by that sun like it ain't no thing. At least this one doesn't make you manage fuel as you fly from place yeah. to place. 
Oh God. Uh, Gems in our chat says 2.5 million light years away to Andromeda possible. from Earth. Yeah, it's yeah. Is that possible? That's too far. We'll find it's, out. It's, it's a lot of like habitat it's a lot of years. No doubt we'll run into the cat. Oh boy. All right. Oh boy. Hey, are you ready to play Mass Effect Andromeda? Hell yeah. Yes. Might as well put my mods in, right? Sure. These appear to be identical, so that's fine. What do I yeah, got? Yeah, my, you, uh... can... you can probably okay. break down any identical mods if I had to guess. Do you need to like equip like... your teammates? So they take my like, weapons and I, mods and don't quote me on this, but I want to say you have a lot less control over your teammates in this one. Hmm. Do I have any mods for my chest? No. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. I am not as ready Hello? as Ready Freddy. Mm -hmm. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this past than the Turn the contrast down. Months. Turn the contrast ah, down. Ah, I shouldn't be staring at a sun. I looked into the sun, oh, this, Ray. Uh, this HDR is too much. <laughs> People have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. You're kind of a close talker, aren't you? <laughs> to the golden world. Instead, they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Uh, sorry. You okay? I'm up for adventure. Hooray! <laughs> I'm, this is exactly I'm just here to make friends. <laughs> a new galaxy, a new ship. I can't wait to get both a little dirty. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. We are good. Take us hmm? down. What'd you say? You no idea how long I've wanted I said I can't wait to kill every motherfucker on that planet. <laughs> Why would? <laughs> Why would you hear? Uh, now that I'm up for adventure too. Let's uh, let's uh -huh. go. Let's go. Just here to have a good time, man. <laughs> Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Do we got uh -huh. this? I mean, they got this. Get this planet, atmosphere, everything's great here. Hell. So I lost a little bit of the thread here. What are you doing? What is your what is your expected mission there. for this planet? Is it still to find point. a place to live? You yeah, I think you're setting up the first that. forward base, right? You, okay. You would think that from literally everything they've said so far in this game, right? I, yes, that's I would I, think that's that. That's why I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Is that what you're yeah. doing here? Okay. That's, that's well, you'll see. Okay. It's kind of one of the big conceptual letdowns of this game, I think. Hey, they already got here. They already set up a colony. Oh! How do you even start? Like, Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated. Like, all, all they ever say about you is you're the pathfinder. You're here to find a path to potentially habitable worlds, right? Except they already tried to settle all of them. So why are you just going to places and turning their stuff on? Yes, it is. Yes, this game is a lot of you going to places where there's already been people. They are setting stuff up. Let's get the power back on. Huh. So less of a... Totally. Pa Pathfinder, like, more of like a yes. path mender. Like, like there are no, from what I remember, there are no like true first contact scenarios in this game, really. Like somebody has been there before you in basically every case. Because right, even the even the guy on the Nexus said they the Turian was like, yeah, we encountered those guys. They're aggressive. They fought. We've been fighting those rock face right. people for a while. Right, and like you know, in some cases, it's the exiles, not the the initiative that got there first. Power, but but it's mm -hmm. the net effect is the same: well, is that there's some level of civilization just about everywhere you go. And sets its own protocol. 
Just say we can't open it. Whoa, how'd you get up there? <laughs> <laughs> Liam's just pan. jumping around like fucking Mario pan. over there. Jump jets. Does he have a helmet on? I think he was off. Neither of them do. What in the... Uh, maybe uh, there's... Breathable, a... breathable air, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's an option? Let's right, just turn... assume they can breathe yeah. and not ask too many questions. Actually, I think, yeah, I think you can hide your helmet as well in the options. Oh, but I like my cool helmet. Some folks clarifying for me that in Mass Effect, you were jumping between, like, clusters, and here you kind of just stay within the same local cluster, which is the, the kind of travel difference, which makes more mm -hmm. sense to me. We suffered our first death today. Whoop. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. <laughs> swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Okay. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We need it. We definitely need it. Don't forget to scan everything. Oh, yeah. What's the button for that? Not that one. <laughs> nope. That's how I scan stuff. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. And this scan it until it's in pieces. Search data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and mm -hmm. upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. Scan it over here. Looks like there's uh, water. Leo, Cora, you better be scanning shit. I better not be the only one scanning shit. When I turn around, you should be scanning stuff. All right, ready? Three, two, one, turn around. Three, two, one. What? Mm, they're definitely not scanning shit. I scan these bushes. <laughs> Boy. Played some scanny games recently. I think I might be tired of scanning right now. Yeah. How dare you? How it was actually you? I don't know. After playing a bunch of uh, Dying Light 2 and then starting in on Rising Forbidden West and finding that both of them have you ping the environment to find collectibles with R3. <laughs> yeah. Like, I I'm guess just I going go running through. up. Just playing games where you scan the environment every 20 feet. <laughs> yes. Look for cues to hit a button to collect crafting materials. Yes. I don't know. It's like... Also, those games both having extremely overlong two-hour tutorial <laughs> sections. Hello? I'm just going to keep the scanner up. Maybe there's a coffee machine I can scan. I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing Elden Ring will be a something of an antidote to that problem. Hmm. That'd be nice. Talk about like, games that do not want you at everything you need to do constantly. Got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. Of course, even that game has a bunch of like picking herbs and stuff. So, from a nearby power relay tower. Video games. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. If you can run Let's by a thing and tower. just mash the button without having yeah. to stop, I'm more okay with it. When you have to stop yeah. to pick up the the stop and smell the flowers, then I, then I find it kind of annoying. Also, um, uh. Horizon lets you um, pick up place. stuff while you're it's mounted a on a okay. animal, yeah. which is yeah. nice. I think Elden Ring does too, from what I remember from that network test. Radiation. Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. <laughs> you, can't travel, you can't travel around the whole planet until you get your car. We... I forgot I could jump pool. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. These shield masts are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. 
The outpost burned through a bunch of them. Bodes well for us. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to the. You know, I don't know that I needed a scan to find that out. I feel like I could have touched the button and gotten the same information. No, oh, Sam. Pathfinder. Need to tell you. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? I don't know. A better researcher. <laughs> Somebody who can scan planets. I wish we had that technology. Maybe like an actual Pathfinder and not just my dumbass. <laughs> Some kind of scanner talk. Huh. Mm -hmm. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. Uh, I'm here to help. I'm not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Yeah, we Call got this. Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Well, maybe you're good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger? It's on you. What? What is your survival plan down here, man? Like, Expect what? Expect trouble when we start the generators. And say, I think he's just salvaging stuff, but he's in like a fifty by fifty dome with everybody else gone. All right, since there's probably a combat scenario coming up here, I'm going to spend my points. Okay. All right, I've got assault rifles and I got pistols, so let's throw one here. Max health is always good. Offensive tech. Like cryptocurrency. Yes, I'm very offended by this tech. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes, there were so many fucking crypto ads, dude. Oh my god. You called it. You nailed it. There's an error in the start cool. To be fair, anyone who's Final watched TV in the device. last six months would have called this as well, but... Hmm. One of the yeah. To determine a hackable input location. I ended up on some viral Twitter thread last night from a dude who almost got scammed out of all of his ETH mm. uh, through, like, a very elaborate social engineering scam. Ooh. But reading through that thread and all of the replies to it was, like... I don't know how to describe it. Like, it... <laughs> It read like parody almost, just like <laughs> the amount of bizarre jargon getting thrown around in that scene. Feels like a parody of a bad cyberpunk future or something. We I don't live in this parody now, man. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, yes. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Oh, it's up here. Okay. You know, the jump feels good. I will give it that. I like the big dumb jump. Yeah, like the, yeah, I think we talked about it some last time, but the, yeah, the jump jets, the, the air dash, all the mobility, like the combat, combat's probably the most successful thing in this game. Like, it's pretty fun. Whoa. Oh, remembering what buttons do. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. That's the button I was looking for. Oh, the chat reminded me of the Larry David crypto ad. Oh, God. Boy. There were there were a lot. What a bummer just that one me, was. Just making me more and more glad that I completely ignored the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> We've got company. Feed the cat. Where my cat at? Hey, guys. Oh, you know. Here Where's there. your cat at? Oh boy. Who are uh, you shooting? 
I check was out these dudes. A chosen. Oh, that's who you were. Okay, you were over there. They weren't kidding about the cat. The They're so easy. Is ready for activation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of your first non-scripted, you know, not non-first like tutorial mm -hmm. encounter with them. So makes sense that it wouldn't be too complicated. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go back up there. Talk to that guy through the door. I do like that one ship came down, dropped four guys, and then left. That was it. <laughs> Maybe Ooh. they were just checking on the power surge. Oh, there's more ships where that came from. Just drop us here, Bill. We'll go check it out. Power surging again. It's probably that guy, that weird mm -hmm. hermit who lives on the thing. Oh, God. The guy who never comes out of that door. Ah! <laughs> So I expect that door to open. You took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? <laughs> I remember that. Ones. You need wheels. I remember that for the, 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 the playthrough we did. A ride? A, a ride? <laughs> Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a path. Hey, you've never seen me pathfind, buddy. <laughs> Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Oh, I'm a vendor now. Yeah, but it'll cost you. Not for any of the prices I've got. <laughs> just shoot him in the leg and take his stuff. You sell all my salvage. Okay, there we go. Also, did you leave the door open when you came in? No airlocks on this non-breathable planet, nope. huh? Maybe everything's fine inside the dome. Evidently. Is there anything I should buy here? You're about to go do a dungeon, so I would hold off. Okay, I'm going to hold off. I love a good space dungeon. <laughs> oh, you're just running out there, too. Okay. Yeah, I guess this place is a lot more breathable than people made it out to be. Hmm. Just that radiation that's a problem outside your... Whoa! I don't know what he was doing. Don't care. Not interested. Look, Liam, you have fun. If I had, if I had all the time, jump jets, Power I'd be going restored. all over the place. We should have access to everything in Site One now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site One. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Hmm. Absolutely. That almost feels mm -hmm. like a lead. Damn right, that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, you better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Oh, you mean the ride? Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. How do I holster my gun? Uh, hold. Say hold X. Yeah, there we oh. go. Nope, that Did just that switches work? guns. Oh. Try holding the back button. No, oh, that's the weapon wheel. Up on the D-pad. No, that's a command thing. That's a oh, command. Right. Both oh, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did, we played this game last time. Mm hmm And what a game it was. Man, look at that gross tree. What's wrong with that tree? It's gross. How can Why you can't not... I research this tree? Yeah, seriously. That tree is worth no at least... No relevant data, fuck off. Look at this tree. Look how cool it is. It's, it's all veiny. Ugh. Fluoride's just sitting right here, guys. It's amazing. We're putting fluoride in the rocks. <laughs> yes, I know it's a door. Dr. Mojo Jojo X asking, did you guys like Well, what do you know? The Horizon. Research Center is still intact. Updating the I, I haven't finished yet. Jury's still out. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. No, we'll no definitely need to play more. We'll need it here too. Now we're building again. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This it's definitely more horizon so far. Mm. Mm. I will say. She got concerned. Source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons. Ezo. Oh, man. The good old days when Ezo was a big deal. Get that Ezo. Ah, I still don't have enough, but I might have enough. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Cool. I researched it. If only you had six scale fibers. Yeah, I don't have enough to make it, but at least I researched it. Data pad yelling table. at you? Ah. Shorty. It's like yelling at you about your objective. Yeah, it's definitely in this vicinity. Oh, you gotta scan these containers? Is that what you gotta do? Like, scan the outside? Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. Mm. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. <laughs> the initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code for uh, the station. Of course it does. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Call in a resupply drop. Get your nitra. Spend it. They should have let me pick the spot because I would have put it in the worst possible place. Look at these Activate tire tracks. Where's Whose car was this? Deployment. Yeah. That's fast. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Oh, I can change my loadout mid-mission. Yeah, but... How <clears throat> fancy. This is, this is basically just sort of like, here's your ship functionality in a pod. <laughs> but Squad! Squad! Only at certain points, like you can only bring them. Down. You can't bring it down whenever you want. Mm -hmm. Squad. Yeah, I think it's like kind of one per planet or mm. every Camp few campfires. hundred feet. Yeah. Is there something else I need this to do? I think that's it. <laughs> Ride it back up. Tell Liam to grab onto it and then launch it into the sky. Oh, there's a car. Why don't you take that cool yeah. thing? I know, right? It's much cooler looking. Maybe this one will be cool too. Let's find out. I feel like I remember the ground vehicle being kind of okay. Oh God, it's it's got afterburners on it. <laughs> Apparently it drives itself. Oh, wow. It's got a real tumbler looking thing. That is a Cobra ass vehicle. <laughs> Well, it only seats one. Sorry, losers. Get in the Nomad, Shinji. <laughs> the Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Yep, it does both those things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, it said it had jump jets. If you push A, does it jump? Mm -hmm. It's more of a little hop. Hmm. Whoa! What does X do? Oh boy. Oh, 0 0.043 millisieverts per hour. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you 
up there in a snap. How do I do that? LB? Remember the Nomad's jump jets. Actually, that might be Micro Sievert's chat now. If you need more juice, the boosters can run over that thing. You out of trouble. There's like weird aliens out here. <laughs> Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. Ah. All right, everyone out. You need to use the bathroom. Do it now. You could just pee in the rocks. Don't worry. Telling me I don't need to scan this giant alien structure. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. Just when you get Let's tackled. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. I don't know, Vinny. I guess I'm about to find out. Yeah. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. <laughs> Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Cohagen. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Scan, scan glyphs, Alex. No <laughs> oh boy. Kind of wants me to go all the way up there, I guess, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, there is the scaffolding here, which seems carefully placed. You ever just climb up an alien structure? <laughs> it's slippery, but there's a great view. <laughs> that should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Yay. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Nice. Smooth move. That looks fun. Building connection. Oh boy. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this. Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere. She looks like she smells something bad. Extremely <laughs> hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. So happy. Doubling How happy she is. Input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> just, just checking items off of the list of iconic Mass Effect Andromeda moments. Yeah. Let it ride. It's just brace yourselves. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through the channels. I did not. It's going to be right. <laughs> She seems nice. How else are we gonna evaluate the gun? I know, I know. If it's <laughs> pointing the wrong way. I mean, it's obvious. Oh, yes. okay. I saw the ship swoop in. Okay, I think we may not get that without the interrupt. The initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose. Sorry, I didn't know this was that moment. For real, huh? I'm pretty sure they really went out of their way to fix that. Mm-hmm. Because it was just literally... Let her sit here for a bit. Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. It was that no, and my face okay. is tired were the two, like, tutorial. most Pretty memed built, things from this game. Wow, look at that. Is that good? Turned on the giant ionic System breeze. I'm establishing a connection. You've turned on the alien humidifier. Oh, crap. I'm deaf now. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later, just take them out. Keep targeting that one. They make little bots. Smooth moves. Not bad. My 
first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's I like your long. jacket. Ugh, I hate mm. long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, let's just Rider, <laughs> cut to the chase here. studying this Remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You're sure it'll help EOS? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a Both. little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay. No, I'm trying to talk to her. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? Do you need to ask? <laughs> A woman after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Talk All right, let's ask. Here's what I think. I think we ask these questions and then I think we wrap it up for today. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the next step is to here? do the big what alien dungeon, the which is, I think, fairly extended. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. Liam, you can put the gun down. All right, we're okay. <laughs> Liam, Everything's Liam is okay. Very, Liam's, you know, listen, Liam's concerned. Oh, is her them? jacket open on the and bottom? Is that her belly button? The observers fly around yes. <laughs> it's an interesting design the choice. Ones make mm -hmm. Not sure how yet. <laughs> Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing. And breachers smash into anything they don't like, which is us. Easy to remember. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my house these days. It's a family name. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. <laughs> Good enough Sorry, and what? short enough <laughs> for now. It's a fascinating dynamic Is going on else here. Camped out on Eos? There's the cat, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. What is her eye possible? line? Is she looking at you? <laughs> yes. I Maybe. can't tell. Possibly? Yeah, try and spin it behind this you. Is can so you new. can you turn the camera I so it's old here. That's as far as I can go. Okay. Yeah, it could be. How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries. <laughs> which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. <laughs> but long enough for conditions here to get I'm more ready. screwed up if they really are connected. Hey man, just keep your finger on the trigger. Yeah, in case something well, happens. I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. All right. Well, folks, we have made some progress here today. We uh, we went around the fake citadel. We got our new ship. We got a, a ground <laughs> car. We met PB. Mm. Yes. Much you. has happened. Yes, you ran around the fake Citadel, you flew the fake Normandy, <laughs> you drove the fake Mako. And, met your, and now we're going to save our fake game. You met your would-be uh, Asari companion, your fake Liara. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm having the same feelings for her right out of the gate as I mm. did for Liara, but we'll see. Well, folks, that is going to be another episode of We're Calling This Alexi Quest, right? Like, that's what we settled on. Uh-huh, that's on the title. All right. There the we placard. go, and we're doing it. So uh, we will be back next week with uh, the continuing adventures of Stoned Rider and uh -huh. her pathfinding ways. Thank you, Brad. Right. Thank you, Vinny.
Yeah, <laughs> thanks everybody. See ya. <laughs>